Welcome to the spoken tutorial on KV online admission to standard 1 registration. The online application process using the portal has two necessary steps. Registering on the portal and filling and submitting application form. In this video we will demonstrate the first step of registering on the portal. Here I have opened the KV online admission portal web page. Please note, this portal is exclusively for applying for admission to Standard 1 in Kendriya Vidyalayas all over India. On the top of the page, we have links for Home, Help Desk, FAQs, Register, Login. Next, we have links for Instructions, Proforma Document Samples, Print Application, Check Application Status. On the right panel, we have section for important links. Link to download mobile app to apply is also available here. If you are using this portal for the first time, there are two ways you can go to the registration page. You can click on new registration button at the bottom of the page or register link at the top right corner of the page. Scroll down the page. Let us click on the new registration button at the bottom of the page. A new page opens. Click on Back to Instructions page button. Page opens with instructions. Instructions in Hindi are also available. Click on Hindi tab. Click on English tab to go back to instructions in English page. On this page, instructions are arranged in different sections for ease of reading. Please keep the following ready before you start registration and filling up of the form. Please go through all the sections before proceeding for registration. Please refer to the specific instructions given in these sections while filling up of the form. After you have read all the instructions, scroll down to the bottom of the page. Click on Declaration checkbox. Click on Proceed button to take you to the registration page. The page by default opens with new registration form. It is mandatory for all the applicants to register online. Please fill the application in English only. For demonstration, I have filled the registration form here. Please fill in all the mandatory fields as indicated here with red asterisk. Enter the first, middle and last names of the child exactly as in the birth certificate or other admissible document. Further query, is the child differently abled? If applicable, select yes. Otherwise, select no. If you select yes, please refer to the instructions under registration sign up first time user section. Fill the date of birth as reflected in the date of birth certificate. Please read the instructions about age limit given in the instructions page. Please note information entered here cannot be modified after submitting. Is the child seeking admission a child or grandchild of KVS employee? This field is mandatory. This information cannot be modified after sign up. Select an appropriate option from the drop down menu. Enter a valid email address. Enter a valid mobile number with an Indian SIM card. Please give your own mobile number. You are strongly advised not to provide mobile numbers of others such as friends, relatives and cyber cafe owners. This mobile number will be used for sending information and OTPs by SMS. Type the capture code shown above. In this field letters are case sensitive. Please check the information entered. Make sure all the mandatory fields are filled. Please note, information entered in the above fields during registration will be displayed pre-filled in the admission application form. This information cannot be modified when filling the admission application form. Therefore, parents are advised to enter these information carefully. There is also a reset button if you want to refill the form. Please make sure that your registered mobile number is working properly. 
so that it can receive an OTP to be sent by SMS. Click on register button. Verify OTP page opens. You will receive an SMS with an OTP number. This OTP is valid only for 15 minutes. Once you have the OTP number ready, enter the correct OTP number on this page. Type the CAPTCHA code. A recent OTP button will be enabled one minute after clicking on the register button. If you do not receive the OTP by SMS on your mobile within five minutes of clicking on the register button, click on recent OTP button. The recent OTP button can be clicked at most once and will disappear after it is clicked. Click on the verify button. An acknowledgement page will appear with a unique login code. Please save the login code carefully and do not share it with others. This login code is needed in order to log in to the admission application portal for filling in and submitting your admission application form. The login code will also be sent to the registered email address and registered mobile number by SMS. You are strongly advised to save and print the acknowledgement page containing the login code. Without this login code, date of birth and mobile number displayed on this page, it is not possible to log in and submit the application form. To save and print this page, click on print button at the bottom of the page. Print dialog box opens. To save this page, click on Print to File option. Click on File button. In the dialog box in the Name field, type the name of your choice. Save at a convenient location on your system. Click on Select button to save the page. To print the page, click on Print button at the bottom right corner. We have now completed the first step of registration. Now we will have to proceed to the second step of filling the application form and submission process. For demonstration on how to fill the admission application form and submit, please watch the video on filling of application form. This video is created by Snehalata Kaliyappan and Madhuri Ganpati from Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. Thank you for watching.